Come, let us prepare, make some good profits today. Market left us some clues right here. Beware, just be very careful. I will talk about this in today's video. But before that intraday analysis, it's important you understand the algorithms at play so you can translate them into the larger time frame, as well as identify your five-figure trade setups. Now, 10.08 a.m., now we were looking out for some inverse head and shoulder pattern and we see it here with the yellow and orange algorithm right here. Now you see how beautifully grabbed the liquidity of that blue 541 level right there on the breakout. Absolutely beautiful because you understood that there was some imbalance when it started forming that inverse head and shoulder pattern. Now subsequently once we formed the head 1039 it was also crucial that you identify the further tapering green algorithm now this will come in even more handily later and you see the imbalance forming and we grabbed that liquidity beautifully again off that blue 541 a variation of that previous algorithm it's the same structure but we have supported algorithms to give us certain confirmation on taking this trade beautiful trade right there and this one all the way up to that 540 44. That's a four and a half point move right there. Now, 12.05, everyone was trying to call the top, but you knew better because you were training your eyes to see the algorithms. And as I mentioned, wait for that orange algorithm to start forming that beautiful head and shoulder pattern of that yellow 543. Now, take a look at that. It's just so obvious when it happens because you train your eyes and you prepared based on the algorithms. Exactly. Beautiful head and shoulder pattern right there. Now, this one, three point trade, more than enough. Now, we lag some selling continuation right there, even though we started wedging and we formed another orange head and shoulder pattern right there off this liquidity level at that orange 542. But we lacked selling continuation because of that green algorithm that started forming to taper at this range. So you have to be very mindful to be looking out for selling continuation, especially when you understand the liquidity level was at this pink 542, as I mentioned in the Discord server. Now, subsequently, once we lagged that selling continuation, 1243, you understood that there was this green algorithm right there, and we were looking out for that cup to close. Now, unfortunately, we ran out of runway. Now, we may have a last 10 minutes trade right here based on the green algorithm, but it's best you just sit this out, especially in the midday where we started chopping because tapering will take time. Now, these are clues that the market has left for us. We will be paying close attention to them. And it's very important you understand how to be looking out for the algorithms, especially the tapering right here, once we lack that selling continuation structure. However, there is another clue here, and that's this orange algorithm. I will talk about that later in the second half of this video. Now, members who did well today, you trained your eyes to be looking at the algorithms and you traded as structure demands. You didn't overtrade. Some of you, one and done, that's exactly how it's done. No more than three trades a day. And don't forget to be finding profits in the charts. Don't be too concerned where the charts are going up and down. Trade as structure demands and be finding profits in the chart. Do not forget your objective is to be profitable and stay focused on that, especially one and done crew. Do well. So keep going. Let's wrap up the week strong. You got this. Well done, members. It's about learning this skill, this lifetime skill, so you can do this for the rest of your life by learning to find five-figure profit trades. And I've shown you it's very possible to do it, but it's a long term skill you need to learn so don't rush this and most importantly please do not join if you're looking for signals signals will ruin you you need to learn this skill for a lifetime so you can do this every single day for the rest of your life and we're talking about ten thousand dollars a day not a month mind you every single day this skill is worth every ounce of your energy and determination to learn and master. It's not going to be easy. Why should it? But it is 
possible. Stay focused, run this race strong. It will be life-changing, not just financially, but you will see how trading will make you a better person. Stay focused, we got this. Now, where do we go from here? Now, it's very important you realize that there is a lack of buying continuation. So we have to be looking out for that tomorrow if there is going to be more sustained upsides. And don't forget to be watching yesterday's video. I talked a little bit about the macro context in the daily chart. And if you take a look right here tomorrow, if we open in this range, given that we have jobless reports tomorrow pre-market, so keep a lookout for that. That may move the market pre-market. And if we open within this range here, what's going to happen is that the five day will retest the 20 day moving average. And that may be the start of the reclaiming of that five day and 20 day moving average. Now watch yesterday's video. If you have not, I explained a little bit about this. It's important you understand how to be looking at trend indicators in the daily chart. Now, it will be ideal if that happens that we have a certain retest and grab more liquidity, especially if the bulls wants to push this up. However, you have to be extremely careful because there will be a lot of liquidity here. And if the market wants to dump, it can absolutely happen. I will show you how in the 30 minute chart because I am very worried that there is no buying continuation right now. The strongest buying algorithm we have now is this orange, but you see that we are starting to taper. And you can see that evidently from today, once we see that orange algorithm holding the price here and that taper, this is concerning. So tomorrow we have to see pre-market. Obviously there are reports, so we have to pay close attention to that. But if we do close the cup and form a nice handle, then we will see certain push out here or you want to see buying continuation once we start pushing up and starting to retrace back beautifully off that yellow 545 before building more structure to continue the rally. This is very important. You need to be looking out for structure. Now, this is if we do not dig deeper. However, there is a possibility that the market wants to dig a little deeper. As you see today here from the morning here. Now, this is important, right? Because we were looking out for that orange and green. And you see how we started digging deeper to form a beautiful inverse head and shoulder pattern. If the market wants to form deeper handles, it absolutely Absolutely can plenty of liquidity here yeah, it has plenty of time it can take especially when the five day and 20 day moving average comes closer together so the possibility is we grab more liquidity here before we break out from that orange 542 this will be more ideal for me if it wants to have a sustained rally but the market does what the market does you just have to trade what structure demands if we dig deeper it will be more ideal we have more imbalances we have have clearer structure. If it doesn't form, so be it. We wait for the cup to close, as I mentioned earlier. Now, if this wants to continue heading down, you do see that there is certain liquidity at that pink and orange 542, 543 right there. And you see that possibility once we form that head and shoulder pattern, if we reject that level there. So pay close attention to this orange level here, right there. We do have certain liquidity. And with that, yellow algorithm there. So you see the possibility how we can grab the liquidity on the way down as well. So pay close attention, orange 542 level there. Now the market will also need to start closing cups if it wants to dump. So pay close attention to the 20 day moving average. There's an obvious target right now as we retested the opening print right here. And the queues have retested it as well exactly today. So if it starts closing cups, you can be looking out for structure with that yellow algorithm and looking out for more structure on the way down. By tomorrow, your five day will start retesting 20 day. So there will be plenty of liquidity. It'll be ideal if the market retests these levels before we start making bigger moves. Now, don't forget there is a larger cup here to that 536 level. And by then you will have clearer indication if that happens that the five day and the 20 day moving average will form some sort of resistance of that handle that starts going down. So if you want to be shorting this, there are certain confirmations you can afford to wait. But it's very important, as I explain, the lack of buying continuation worries me. So 
looking out for a deeper handle, looking out for deeper liquidity build will be ideal. And that will be something I'm looking out for, especially if you're trading larger positions. It will be great if there's greater imbalances. So just stay and pay attention to that. And tomorrow, very important, the mild liquidity here is going to be massive. There will be big moves. So let's hope the market will retest that together once we start to intersect the five day and 20 day moving average. No assumptions as yet. If you're going long just because we bounced off 20 day moving average, it's not a bad move. You could have already protected at least four or five points from here and start hedging your positions with the 20 day moving average and the five day coming up as well. So if you hedge your positions by buying puts here, for example, protecting your positions here, which is already protected, then perhaps your risk to reward will be up to the upper Bollinger. So it's important you use trend indicators to start to manage your risks. And it's, well, it's possible, right? We had that move today and all you have to do is to be managing your risks on the way up. Do not get greedy. You have to always be covering as much of your position as possible and to hedge according as structure demands. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you closer to opening bell.